So uh, Natasha Cooper's friend was on a panel with Dorothy and I actually didn't know it was Dorothy and I wasn't even looking at the writing on the screen, but I could recognize Dorothy's voice. Now I'm not a friend of Dorothy. I've never had any association with her, but she gave this lady a voice and she apparently is a former friend of Natasha Cooper and was spilling the beans, so to speak. But I just wanted to share this little joke with you before I get started on this. AD is never going to win the spelling bee, is he? <laughs> He's put, lol, it's not money's eyed. <laughs> I'm not money's eyed. <laughs> it's, it's monetized. <gasps> it's not money's eyed. <laughs> M-O-N-E-Z-I-E-D. <laughs> it's not monazide. <laughs> I do know who does want to get monetized, though, and that is Natasha Cooper. Let the money roll in. You know, I still have the interview with Natasha Cooper and Kelly, the one that Kelly did uh, a long time ago where she claimed that Frankie basically <laughs> wanted the last penny from her bank account. And even though Kelly did some not so wise things, I'm actually starting to really believe a lot of what she said on that interview. And I'm talking about Kelly Avocado, Kelly, Kelly the Advocate. Um, I still have that interview and one day I will publish it, uh, the interview that she did with Natasha Cooper. Kelly, wherever you are, uh, come back to YouTube. I mean, show your face. Now, so Dorothy had this friend on her panel. And it, it took me a while to realize that this friend, this former friend of Natasha Cooper's was the one who Natasha had streamed saying things about Natasha and her tubby face. And that's the most friendliest way that I can put it. You know, Natasha might not be conventional looking, but that hasn't stopped her from gaining popularity on YouTube. In fact, I think it's helped. People like her. People sympathize with her until they realize what she really is. And this year on my channel, I am going to be doing a lot about, I'm going to be analyzing and examining people with certain personality traits related to the DSM-5. That's what my channel is about, human behavior, personality, traits, factors, types. And I do think Natasha Cooper has that way about her where she can she can seek sympathy from people and that's how that's how she um that's how she weaves them into her web i think she's that type of person and people are drawn to her for whatever reason whether it's right or wrong people are drawn to her this friend i think her name's scarlet but i'm not 100 percent certain said something about natasha you know, Natasha subs, not all being real subs, you know, buying them. <laughs> I don't know about that. Um, but, you know, Natasha definitely has a way about her. And like I said, I'm pretty neutral. I've never liked her particularly or disliked her particularly. Um, I remember how she got into it with Mommy Ramblings and I've still got footage of that. I remember there was some something about her niece and that Natasha has a biracial niece who she claims that she was trying to adopt. And I remember Mommy Ramding saying some things about that, about Natasha and um, her biracial niece. Um, I actually have footage of her niece actually talking about this. Um, so this is this is a very this is somebody who I think has been able to gain sympathy, subs a following from YouTube for not being conventional, for not being conventional looking. I think that's actually helped her. Sometimes it's not about being good looking, but it's about being unconventional and different. And that's, I think, I think that's her calling card. And she's obviously a drama queen as well. You know, I've, I've, I've seen some of the videos where she's being a drama queen and being very elaborate and loud and everything. And people love that. I mean, people love drama. That's, People have loved drama since the beginning of time. That's why soaps involving drama 
have survived for so many years, you know, soaps like The Love Boat, Another World or whatever it's called, you know, people love drama and Natasha brings that very well to the table. Natasha has been able to acquire a lot of funding and donations from people and people are questioning where all that money went. It's a bit like with Frankie. Baby hair and Frankie. <laughs> I once made a joke that I would never take Frankie away from Natasha, his ex-wife. <laughs> of course I was joking. Of course I was joking. Natasha and Frankie were never together. I'm just joking. So don't be too mad at me. Um, you know, she's acquired a lot of donations and funds for a lawyer she was apparently supposed to get. It never happened. And I've heard a lot of other things. Um, so she's able to reel people in. And like I said, she's unconventional looking. She's not the standard, um, you know, look. But that has not been a downside for her. In fact, I think it's been positive. Um, I remember once Oprah Winfrey saying that she would never, someone told her that she would never be able to gain an audience or a following because of how she looked. And I think Oprah Winfrey proved everyone wrong. Because look at the billions she made out of television. You know, the person who said that didn't know what they were talking about. Um, I think Natasha is that type of person. Her unconventional abilities have served her well. And, um, you know, there's a lot of donations. I mean, I heard that she was seeking some kind of monetary payment because she lost one channel after the other. And she had once had a channel with the Gabby Petito stuff that she had on there. And, um, you know, she had 30,000 subs and she, you know, she doesn't have that ch channel anymore. And it's like, she goes from one channel to the next, you know, she, she, she said that when a channel goes down, she has another one ready to go. So she just goes from one channel to the next, one channel to the next, one channel to the next. There's something very enduring about Natasha Cooper, relentless. She doesn't give up. It looks like Kelly the Avocado has given up. I don't know why. But um, there is something that perseveres with Natasha Cooper. And I think that part of her strength, she also seems to have a very thick skin as well. So I think that also helps her. She is definitely able to reel people into her web very much so she has that type of personality she has that type of strength she has those skills she has that charm regardless of whether she's conventional or not or not and i said being unconventional for her seems to have worked in her favor and the friend who came on dorothy's panel said that you know she was friends with, with natasha for a while she had sympathy for her for a while and then she started to realize the type of person that, that natasha is and, you know, decided that she'd stay away. So, um, you know, lots of things being said about Natasha on these streets that are not exactly positive. 